If you're looking for tips and tricks on using Cloud KMS AutoKey, then you're in the right place. Hi, I'm Lewis, and in this video, I'll share some best practices when setting up Cloud KMS AutoKey. Let's get started. Let's start with your resource hierarchy. To use AutoKey, you must have an organization resource that contains a folder resource. When you first set up Cloud KMS AutoKey, you would define a folder resource and enable AutoKey on that folder. I recommend creating one key project and one resource project per folder. To ensure consistency and prevent surprises, I recommend you follow this approach across your development, testing, and production folders. The key project will contain the keys created by AutoKey, and the resource project will host the Google Cloud resources that AutoKey will encrypt. By default, if you attempt to create resources protected by AutoKey in the key project, AutoKey rejects the request for a new key. This allows for separation of duties amongst the key administrators and the AutoKey users who request a key. Yet, I still urge you to implement this resource hierarchy to ensure stronger separation of duties. This approach segments the keys alongside the data the keys are protecting. Now that you've set up AutoKey and established the resource hierarchy, you may want to enforce AutoKey usage across your folders or even the entire organization. You can enforce AutoKey usage by combining IAM access controls with Cloud KMS organization policies. Set an organization policy on the folder to require that keys must be from the AutoKey key project using the restrict CMEC crypto key projects constraint. This configuration restricts supported services so that keys can be chosen only from the listed projects, folders, and organizations. Requests to create Cloud KMS protected resources in configured services don't succeed without a Cloud KMS key from one of the allowed resources. Now that your keys are in a single project across each of your folders, it's important to protect those projects from accidental deletion. Otherwise, your keys may be deleted and your encrypted data may be unrecoverable. The first step to preventing accidental deletion is placing a lien on a project. You can place a lien upon a project to block the project's deletion until you remove the lien. Then, use the minimum destroy scheduled duration organization policy constraint. This constraint allows you to define the minimum duration, defined in days, for the scheduled destruction state for the key. In this configuration, I set the minimum duration to 30 days. But you can use higher values, such as a 120-day minimum duration when unwanted key destruction would be more harmful. Use lower values, such as a 30-day minimum duration when unwanted key destruction would be less harmful, such as for development or testing environments. My last recommendation for preventing accidental deletion is to require that keys are disabled before they can be destroyed using the Disable Before Destroy organization policy constraint. Disabling a key prior to destroying it helps you to validate that the key is not in use. Here's an example of these constraints working together. I've returned to the Cloud KMS console and I want to access my key. When I select the key, and attempt to destroy it, I can see that I'm unable to do so because of the Disable Before Destroy organization policy constraint. I need to disable the key, and then I will have the ability to destroy the key. Yet, even when I attempt to destroy the key, I'm asked to confirm that I want to schedule its destruction. Cloud KMS confirms that this key version is scheduled for destruction, and it will be destroyed in 30 days in accordance with my minimum destroy scheduled duration constraint configuration. You can combine each of these constraints with careful identity and access management policies to create a multi-step destruction process that requires cooperation from multiple roles. Once all of these recommended practices are set up, Cloud KMS AutoKey takes care of the rest. Cloud KMS AutoKey will take care of creating key rings when needed, using consistent settings for key protection level, granularity, and rotation periods. You can focus on your cloud development and request the right keys as you create your cloud resources. 
To learn more about Cloud KMS AutoKey and to get started today, check out the links in the description. See you later.